Parametric equations are a way of describing an object's position given a third parameter, usually time. So for example, x is described as the square root of t and y is 1 minus t. And if we do a t x y chart, uh, and I need to start at 0 because I can't take the square root of a negative number, so I'll go 0 and uh, 1 and 4 and 9. Okay, I'm picking these numbers because I'm going to be taking the square root. So the square root of 0 is 0 and 1 minus 0 is 1. So at t equals 0, our first point is 0, 1. So I put a point right there. And then at t equal 1, square root of 1 is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So my second point goes right there. At t equal 4, x is 2, and y is negative 3. So I go to 2, negative 3. There's my next point. And at t equal 9, x is 3, and y is negative 8. So 3, negative 8. And if we connect these, we get what looks like half a parabola. So that's basically how parametric equations work. You put a number in for t, and you see what you get out for x and y, and you just plot the x and y coordinates like you normally would. Well, how about if I'd like to know what, these, what this thing looked like without t in there? It's pretty easy to do. I'm going to solve for t by squaring both sides and plugging that in for t right there. So y equals 1 minus x squared. And you can see that's a parabola. And our graph looks pretty much like a parabola. OK, t does not have to be the parameter. You can also have theta as a parameter. And so x is equal to cosine theta. And y is equal to 2 sine 2 theta. Well, hopefully you remember that the sine of 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cosine theta. OK, so y will equal 4 sine theta cosine theta. And then I'm going to multiply by, uh, well, I'm going to square both sides. That's what I'm going to do. So y squared is equal to 16 sine squared theta cosine squared theta. Why do I want to do that? Because that lets me rewrite sine squared as 1 minus cosine squared. So 16 sine squared becomes 1 minus cosine squared. And then I have a cosine squared out here. And how does that help? Well, x equals cosine of theta. So everywhere there's a cosine, I'm going to replace it with x. So that's 16, 1 minus x squared times another x squared. And if you want, you can rewrite it as 16x squared minus 16 x to the fourth. So that's replacing the parameter and uh, writing everything in terms of y and x. I also want to show you how you can do parametric equations on your calculator. What you need to do is go to mode and you're going to use the PAR mode. So I hit enter and when I quit, now this xt theta button will be t. And when I hit y equals, instead of y equals, I get an x1t and a y1t. It's not going to graph anything unless you have an equation for x in terms of t and y in terms of t. OK, so I'm going to do the square root of t for x. And I'm going to do the square root of 4 minus t for y. Now when we go to our window, we have something new. We have a t min and a t max. 
and uh, looking at t what t can be, it can't be less than 0, and it can't be more than 4. So I'm going to go from 0 to 4, and I'll do a t-step of 0.1. The smaller t-step t is, the more smooth my graph will be. Okay, let me grab that. For, let me uh, get the y equals there and grab that with a screen capture. There we go. And let me grab the window here. And when we hit graph, you see that we get what looks like a chord of a circle. And uh, if I adjust my window, let's let x min go from, say, negative 3 to 3, and y min negative 3 to 3. And that's a better picture there. And if we want, we can do a zoom square. And you can see that we get a quarter circle. OK, so the last thing I want to show you all is how to go from rectangular to parametric. So this says find a set of parametric equations for the given rectangular equation right here using a, t equals x, and b, t equals 2 minus x. OK, a, well, if t equals x, then that means that x equals t and y equals t squared minus 3. So that's our set of parametric equations. Now, b, if t equals 2 minus x, then that means x equals 2 minus t. And I'm going to put that in for y, so y will equal 2 minus t squared minus 3. And if you want, you can multiply that out. 4 minus 4t plus t squared minus 3. And we get t squared minus 4t plus 1. So that's our y in terms of t and our x in terms of t. So that's basically it for parametric equations. You should be able to eliminate the parameter or given a rectangular equation and some, specif some specifications for t, you should be able to rewrite that rectangular equation as a set of parametric equations. Remember that you always need to have an x equation and a y equation. Otherwise, you can't graph it.